All right, today we're taking on Spicy Beers round three. I got my good friend Black Ninja, my good friend Black Brett Novak Steve. with me today on this one, or Steve. Uh, three three different beers that we're going to be tasting today, and I'm actually super excited about this because two of them you guys have been requesting like crazy. So I've got Habanero Sculpin, I've got this one, I've got the Ghostface Killer from Twisted Pine Breweries in uh, I think it's somewhere Boulder, Denver. Um, this one you guys have been requesting like crazy, I was able to get this. Luckily my brother-in-law actually lives like 15 minutes away from the brewery, so I was able to track this one down. So I'm going to try this one, or I'm going to try this one third because this is the one I have the highest hopes for. And then this Mortal Kombat Imperial Stout that's uh, brewed with chilies and vanilla beans that I literally <laughs> found at a crappy uh, liquor store in a, in a shopping cart because they were trying to get rid of it. So we'll see how this one does. There's not even a brewery listed on this, actually. So, like, Warner Brothers is the only thing I have on it, so Warner Brothers might have brewed this, I'm not sure. Um, Anyways, I've got the commercial description for each of them. We're going to open them, taste them, and see if they're spicy, and just kind of uh, gauge them overall as a beer. So, what have I, I signed up for? It could be, it could, I mean, it could be horrible, it could be not. It could be just delicious. Normally there's always, like in the last two, there's just been like a, a good surprise, basically. All right, all right. So, the first one we're going to try is uh, Bell's Point. It's their Habanero Sculpin. Uh, so, commercial description on this one is, is our popular IPA with a punch of heat. Our Sculpin IPA with habanero pepper began as a crazy experiment that's taken on a life of its own. While well, its bright fruit <coughs> notes and hoppy bite have made the original one of our favorites, this, one, this version takes that balance of flavors to the next level with a citrusy floral heat of habaneros. Sculpin are known to sting, but this one's got a kick. Ninja, this is pretty much what you normally drink. This right? is the <coughs> ugliest fish <laughs> they could have put on here. Why? You couldn't possibly have a different beer that you're used to drinking. Pretty much. Yeah. So this is 7% uh, alcohol and it has 70 IBUs, so it is a pretty hoppy, bitter beer. What is an IBU? It's uh, International Bittering Units. Yeah. So on the very the low it's side stupid. of it is where you're going to see like your stouts and darker beers like this. It's your hoppy level, sort of speak. Yes. And so I think the I think 100 is basically like what is detectable to okay. you by a human. You're Maybe used, a dumb question. To zero to what one. is a hop? A hop is a... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You say that, but he's serious. I don't typically drink hops. That's true, you don't usually have flavor in most hops of your beers in general. Hops bring a balance to the beer, basically. So you have a sweetness or a maltiness that's going to be going on in the beer. Very nice amber texture, a uh, hint of oak. Just, since there's three of us here, I'm just going to split this beer between the three of us. Okay. Yeah, you know. Brett, Brett's getting a little less than everybody else. Because you know, it's colorful right. somewhere. I know, right? Here. <laughs> so, I mean, it's got a good head on it. It looks good. It's pretty translucent. It's, I mean, I've had ver the regular Sculpin. I've had the Habanero Sculpin before, actually. This is just a, a damn good beer. So, smells super fruity. <laughs> super hoppy. Um, I, don't, I don't smell a lot of peppers at all. Why do people... If you, if you, if you breathe in actually super deep, you can kind of catch a, like a back end of the smell. Really? Well, you can it. actually. Yeah, you can it. actually smell it. So this has got the, the slightest hint of a pepper. So, oh yeah. You know, cheers. Cheers, mate. It's pretty good, actually. It's, it's, just, it's just delicious. It's much better than I expected. Yeah. yeah. Have you had that? You even had this beer before? No. I mean, I've had plenty of Sculpin, but I've never had. Again, with these, with these beers, it hits you kind of like in the back of the throat. Like <laughs> it comes up like right here. Yeah. Do you feel it there? Mm -hmm. It's gross. pretty good. You don't like it? No. What do, you norm <laughs> what do you normally drink? What do I normally drink? Yeah, why don't you run down the list of what you normally this drink? This is one of my uh, most asked questions. What's your favorite beer? And it's always whatever's on sale. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and, Perfect. Uh, 211. 211. Still reserve. Yeah. We should do it back and back, you know, back yeah. to back. So this is about as far away from what you would normally be drinking. This I would never get this. This is literally the farthest away you would ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to drink, like, two or three of them, no. but... The amount that I'm drinking right now is actually just about perfect. One third? A third yeah. of one of these. You can buy it, just want. take one big gulp and dump it out for the troops. It's pretty darn good. Dump it out for the troops. <laughs> yeah. right. This is the type of beer I would have with... <laughs> Go barbecue on. ribs. <laughs> Actually, hoppy beers are good for Doritos. like spicy food. Yep. Um, you didn't let me finish. Go ahead. With a spicy rub. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That would be appropriate. On the beach. All right, moving on. So, second beer we're going to be doing is uh, Mortal Kombat Scorpion Imperial Stout. It's an Imperial Stout with chilies and vanilla beans. Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat X. <laughs> 
Um, commercial description is actually right on the bottle on this one. So a dangerously drinkable imperial stout, fire and ice in a glass, a fiery southwest chili, a cooling Madagascar vanilla bean, paired nicely with the exotic notes produced by a magical yeast strain. Whoa! Um, <laughs> wait a minute. I found this that can't be like a real dis- <laughs> a magical heat. Wait, magical yeast strain. Strain? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's what they use to actually uh, ferment the beer. Magic. That's what they use. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Uh, I actually found the brewery. I found this beer on Untapped, and uh, Sound Brewery um, brewed this. I don't even know where Sound Brewery is. Let's see if I can click on it. Uh, Washington. Washington, really? Yeah. I've never heard of Sound Brewery before. There you go. It's, it's in Washington. There you go. Let's see if there's any additional information about this beer online. Nope, but uh, it is a it is an eight percent, so it's a little bit bigger than the Skull Pumas yeah, had. Little known fact: a video game came out after this beer. <laughs> based on the you should have got the game based on the beer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I pour you a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> you didn't know what it was gonna be oh, going into. Oh, what is it? It's a stout, dude. Oh. <laughs> you ever drink motor oil before? The- Foam's not even the right color. <laughs> Foam's not the right color. I'm so happy you're part of this. Uh, this looks like an old soda. Do you, do you think I handpicked the people on these? <laughs> yes, I do. You think so? Because oh, oh, you'd be right. Dude. It smells super good. Does it's it? It's like I'm sure it's probably... Thick. I have... Drank, it doesn't even make a splash noise. And I have, I have brewed with... Uh, vanilla beans before. So the vanilla, bean, the vanilla bean I'm expecting to be pretty big in this. It should really be able to taste the vanilla. Oh, it smells super good. It smells really good. I smell chocolate and vanilla, basically. Good head, too. The head is staying on it. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Uh, <clears throat> she is. Cheers again. So I expect this one to not be the spiciest beer in the world, but hopefully it's got some balance to it. Chocolate. It's pretty good. I think it I smells feel. better. Too. Or vanilla? Yeah. This one's kind of... It's bitter. Definitely a lot of chocolate. A little bit of it. Not as much vanilla as I thought it was going to be coming across at all. That but a iron, lot of chocolate. It goes down ones. really slow. <laughs> And almost, I mean, I like almost no heat. It's like there was a pepper that was hanging out at one time. Yeah. They, they, they dated once, but they were it was over after that. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not hot. At it's all. not hot. This is but it's got a, it's got a pepper flavor to it at least. Yeah. Um, the smallest amount of heat. Yeah. But um, yeah, but I don't know. It's a decent beer. It's got. It looks great. It pours great. It's good carb. Good head on it. Um, a lot of carbs. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of chocolate in here, but I, I kind of wish there was chocolate. a little more forward with the peppers. I'm not gonna lie, but it's it's, it's moderately well balanced. It's, it's basically this would like be that, a good beer a light for stuff. Right? Exactly. Like um, exactly. I'm kind of it's hiding Christmas. the alcohol pretty well. Yeah. I'm kind of amazed that this is an eight an eight percent beer. It does not taste like eight percent at all. Yeah. It tastes like more like a like a five percent or really. So that's, that's a good thing. Barley wine vibe to it. Get more bang for your buck. See, this is the whole, this is the deal. See, so you, you pay twice as much, but you get three times the alcohol, and it actually tastes good. If we really did the math, I feel like a 30-pack of Keystone <laughs> would be more bang for your buck. Yeah, but then you've got to drink a 30-pack of Keystone. Yeah. Well, first of all, <laughs> it's all about improving the strength of your stomach. Improving the strength of your stomach. Yeah. By destroying your liver slowly over time. See, this guy gets it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to this last one. Again, this would be good for like this is real. Yeah, I want you to Christmas do Christmas. You want you to do the pairings. It'd be Christmas Eve. You get a little bit of pine going through the air. You see the unwrapped gift, and you say, "Oh, you know what? I want to do before I unwrap that gift." <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's actually not bad. I can see myself doing like this like next to a, next a bonfire or something like I that. I think it smells better than it tastes. But I fully agree. But the more did we address why that first beer had a fish on the front of it? It's a sculptor, man. Uh, what is it? What is that? Is that a type of fish? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-mm. Have you ever caught a sculpin? I have not caught a sculpin. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the last beer. So this is Ghost Face Killer from Twisted Pines Brewery. They are in Boulder, Colorado. You guys have been asking for this one a lot. This Boulder. is the one I have the highest hopes for. Commercial description is right on it. So, from the dark depths of devious minds and Twisted Pines comes just. It's like a poem. demonic threat <laughs> for the true heat freaks. Those gluttons for punishment that treat every meal like an exercise in extremism. Smothering each bite they consume with scoville soaring plate torching peppers and sauces. 
Underneath an unassuming straw gold veil lurks the <laughs> safest searing spice of six varieties of chili, including the infamous ghost pepper or um, or ghost reaper. Hmm, interesting name for that. That's oh, made up. I think you're supposed to sing it. Utter agony for most, but oh, absolute rat. euphoria for the fiery few. So hopefully, normally when when you you see something like so, like I'm going to burn your face off, it's normally the exact opposite of it. Yeah. So it, normally it's the most unassuming things are always the spiciest. So that being well, said, I really hope they. I hope they are building it up in the sense of you, exactly. They're really building themselves talks. up here. I hope it does it. So. You uh, let me see if I can get an ABV mm -hmm. on any of this. Find it as I try to. Five point two. Okay, it's a little guy. You guys remember in. First grade, you had to remember like poems and stories and recite them to the class. That sounds like what that would be. <laughs> From the devious depths of the diluted I diaphragm that what you're of reading in first death, grade. I appreciate comes the twisted, terrible, turbulent tea known as Ghostface Killer. I appreciate it when breweries gonna go over the top with their their descriptions. So, anyway, so does Ninja. Yeah. Oh, you know what 211 is? <laughs> Can you please read what you think? 211 is the... Uh, From the streams behind your refrigerator. Police code for comes. burglary. <laughs> Alright. Steve over here had a little of that stout in the bottom of his glass when I poured this, so his is going to look maybe oh, slightly darker. I actually... I want a hint of green. I actually <laughs> washed mine out. So for this last beer, I'm actually going to split this full beer three ways. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pour his a little bit more... Kingston! Uh, more, more violence, so that way we can see how much head is actually going to happen on this. It's pretty good, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm a weak color than I expected. Yeah, it's very light. How's it smell? Whoa! Right? Yeah? I'm going to watch you guys smell that now. Mainly ninja. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like... What's it smell like? It smells like pizza. It smells like pizza? <laughs> it might just be because I just ate pizza. <laughs> Maybe I... I kind breathed of, in there. kind of an ashtray kind of smell in this. Wow, that smells <laughs> interesting. Right? Hold on. All right, let me... I, I, I can't know. say it smells good. I, I would but say I'm, it does I'm not a, smell good. But I'm it's, optimistic. It smells it. like peppers. It's yeah. like all It's like all peppers. But like... It smells very, like peppers. But like an odd combination of peppers. Like, like a burnt pepper taste. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like a burnt pepper taste. It just smells like burnt peppers, honestly. Like they, I guess, I'm assuming they roasted them. How much they time is being them. spent smelling beer? <laughs> it's half the experience. Smelling, like, tasting, like over the course. For. How, How many right? hours of manpower have been wasted <laughs> by smelling beer instead of drinking? I at least appreciate you called it manpower. I know, right? <laughs> man On that note, let's actually, let's actually taste beer. this beer. I'm going to let you guys go first. I want to see what your reaction is. That's what I'm most excited for. Oh. <laughs> it is. Is there, is there heat going on? Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm in. All right. It's, right, cheers, uh, cheers, cheers, that's weird. That's not what I want to feel when I drink a beer. Boy, that's so My tongue is spicy. Weird. That's so odd. Wow, this, right. is, this has got some heat. It's actually you ever had, spicy. Like this your foot fall asleep? That's what happened in my mouth. That might be the spiciest beer I've tried. This is the spiciest beer I've ever had. Yeah. It's still what? there. It's still there. My whole mouth is on fire right now. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. It's not like like killing me, but like I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely like lit up right now. Doug, what oh, are you passed lit. up right now? And it's, AF. And it's it's staying in my mouth too. Like this is not going away. It's actually like getting sharper. It's intensifying. You got a shotgun, oh, yeah. this, dude. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is fantastically well done. Yeah, I am really into this. I don't even know what style this kind of beer is. I don't know what you would call that. You you can't even really break down the taste in the sense of like hoppy no, versus. You either. can't. Um, I don't. I don't think it's. it's I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a very hoppy beer at all. You can't. Really, I would say there's. You can't tell though. Less very, than one hop. Very very lightly hopped in my in my opinion. Very but low on hops. They added a lot oh. of peppers to this beer. Though. Pretty, this is a really it's spicy damn beer. Spicy. This is a really good beer though. This is very well done. It's, <laughs> he freaks out every time I smell the beer. I, I am. Uh, I've never had anything like this in my life. I've drank a lot of beer, and I've <laughs> never had anything remotely close to something like this before. This, this is, is all Ninja's going to drink. This is now. unbelievable. No. You so know anyway. what would make this really bad? If it sat in your car for a few days <laughs> in the summer, and then you, you get to shake it up? By drink, drinking this warm would be horrible. Oh, yeah. You want to know uh, red-flavored 211s? That doesn't apply. Red-flavored? Yeah. <laughs> what is what is what was red flavor? The flavor of red, dude. Yeah. Red flavor. Red flavor. Fruit punch. Fruit, fruit punch. Strawberry, cherry, whatever. Fruit, That's why fruit, we have imagination. Fruit punch two eleven. Mm -hmm. This must be magical. 
Was can we do it? it was. I need to expose you to this <laughs> on my channel. Brian tries red to eleven. I will do that with you. <laughs> Burning my nose. Sure. I will do that with you. A hint of sugar. Oh, we'll just try all five flavors. Perfect. I'm in. Yes. All right. To go over them. First beer we tried was Bell's Point Habanero Sculpin. Great beer. Yeah. Very lightly spiced. Very impressed by it. This is just a very solid beer. It really, really like this. Really like this beer. Spicy. Second beer we Good did branding. was. The Imperial Stout by, do you remember the name of the brewery? What was the brewery? Uh, Sound? Sound Brewery in Washington. Uh, a pretty well balanced beer. Smelled a lot better than it tasted, Smelly. honestly. Delicious. Might have been a little heavy on the chocolate. Noise of the peppers when it came through. A little bit heavier on that. Uh, but uh, pretty good beer. This one by far was the, my, my favorite, at least, I think. Yeah. I think Brett But I still wouldn't like, I couldn't drink it often. No, it's definitely its own little niche. It's unique. It's definitely a unique beer. Yeah. So Ghostface Killer from Twisted Pine Brewery in Boulder. Um, Genuinely surprising. I didn't actually. Very surprising. I didn't think beer could actually. I, I never had any kind of. I never had a beer that wow. like really hung out with you. Came in, in here with a closed mind. Yeah. I'm very surprised by it. So I've just been hanging out with you two. <laughs> <laughs> beer didn't smell very good. Just all peppers. No. And uh, and the taste like it just it lingering peppers that just kind of stay with you forever. Yeah. So. Anyways, I really appreciate Ninja and Brett joining me on this. Both of their channels are in the description. Please check them out. They both do amazing jobs at what they do. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos uh, from now on. I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.